Again. Mm, fuck. Well, never mind. Uh, second try on this. When you know. <laughs> Fucker locks up on me. Alright, it's the middle of the week, folks. It's Wednesday night. This is not a sports video. This is really a continuation of the uh, last video I did, which dealt with the, the shooting in Tucson. Now, they held the service this uh, earlier tonight. I was not watching it. Uh, you note over in the background, we're doing Overman, special edition of Overman. And believe me, I'll get to a lot of this. What has happened since Saturday? Uh, should have should be a teaching lesson, a working lesson for all of us. Regardless of what end of the political, social, socioeconomic spectrum, this should be a teaching lesson for all of us. That what we do, what we say, how we present ourselves has an intent and has consequences. Um, I've kind of gone over this before, fairs to be repeated. I have done videos here on YouTube going on uh, well over a year, a uh, year and a half. And this is, of course, my second channel. I had to delete the original because, uh, as I said before, somebody had a giant bug at their ass about me. Uh, the man's name was Ken Hamilton Fletcher, and he wanted to make my life a living hell. What the cocksucker doesn't understand is I have his email addresses, I have his cell phone number. I have never broadcasted cell phone number. I have posted his email addresses. I did that on Fan Nation a while back. It got me kicked off there. I've gone over the story before. But it is simply because what we do, what we say, we have unintended consequences. That is what is the case of what happened on Saturday. No one is innocent here. Not me, not any of you, not anyone in this country. I don't care what we're talking about. This goes beyond the political spectrum. It goes beyond a lot of things. No one is blameless here. Sure, we pointed out that the punk who pulled the trigger on Gabrielle Giffords and 18 other people, killing six in the process, by all rights should be put to death, but the state of Arizona doesn't have the balls to do that. And basically, the who gave him the marching orders are, you know, the right-wing nut jobs, Or as I've called them, teabagging fascists. Well, I've called them what they really are. Fascists, anarchists, terrorists, versus the pure evil in America. It's far worse than the Taliban or Al-Qaeda. Far worse than the Christian coalition than the moral majority. Yours, the John Birch Society. If some of you might be a little older than I am, you might remember what that is. They were all the deep end. And basically, this is just my opinion, saying that this punk got his marching orders that way. Just as much as the just as much as the asshole who murdered George Taylor in uh, Wichita, was Wichita, to be I forget where it was in Kansas. I think it was Wichita. All because the man decided to, you know, offer the right to perform abortions. And you kill him and you gun him down in a church. You realize nothing's sacred. But I want to be fair. I want to be absolutely fair in saying this. You have tree huggers on the left who are just as guilty. They haven't gotten anyone killed, not to my knowledge not to anyone else's. But their words inflame just as much as, uh, you know, what goes on here. But it just proves my point that the statements I've made here don't help, 
even I know they don't help. And truth be known, I in using the term teabagging fascist, I got a warning from one of the uh, one of the sites I visit uh, on a regular basis. <laughs> And I got uh, a friendly warning from the moderators of that site. They basically told me to tone it down. And I told them the truth. I said, you know, I get the message. I understand it. You don't have to tell me twice. But I'll make the attempt. And that's all I told them was, I'll make the attempt. I cannot promise anything. I will not guarantee anything. But at least I will make the valiant attempt. You guys have to understand, I don't hold for the two-party system in this country. I find it in utter contempt. Problems, no one wants to govern from the middle, no one wants to listen from the middle. Nobody wants to give a third option from the middle. Nobody cares. And that's the saddest commentary of all. Yeah, and then you understand, I was watching earlier tonight before I started this video. Uh, basically catching Lawrence McDonald's show on MSNBC and they showed this little clip of you know, the Mama Grizzly herself. And somehow she used the term uh, blood libel. No, you're not the Taliban. You stay there and use the term blood libel. That's like the Taliban or Al-Qaeda. You know. It's just, everybody's so fucking delusional. Now, I know I started this off by saying no one is completely blameless. The blood is on everyone's hands. Mine, yours, society's we're all to blame. Plain English, we're all to blame. And until people in this country come to realize that fact, we're going to continue to have one gigantic fuck you contest. I've said on here many a time that. I'd like to build a scale, if it was left to me, I'd build a scale down, well not scale down, but I'd build a scale model of Auschwitz, and I'd march in the pro-life religious scum, I'd march in these televangelists, I'd march in, I'd march in these, these detestable, and I use the term loosely, detestable religious scum from the, this Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka who wanted to show up at a as the funeral tomorrow for uh, Dallas Green's granddaughter. You know, if you don't know, Dallas Green was the former manager of the Phillies and the Yankees and Mets. His granddaughter is a nine-year-old girl you've all heard about, gunned down in this. They wanted these, these nut shots of Topeka wanted to show up at the funeral. Mm -mm. No, you go to the head of the line in my little list. I told you, folks. Words we say, what we do, they have consequences. I know that. I'm not ashamed of saying what I just said. I won't apologize for it. Why should I? I'm not the one who should be apologizing. But, like I said, we'll just continue to have this gigantic fuck you contest. But I'll tell you one thing that has come out of what has happened in Topeka? It's a wake-up call, folks. Plain English, it's a wake-up call. The United States government has now told you, you don't like anybody, you now have the right to go out and kill them. The government has now given you blanket sanction to go kill people. If you don't like them, do what you want to deal with. Anarchy has gripped this country, ladies and gentlemen, and you still will not listen to me. I told you before, the two-party system in this country is a joke. It's a, it's a travesty. For as long as there's been in America, we've had this problem. Time and space don't allow me to go into greater detail, and I actually won't. <laughs> You can look it up and go look at the history books. You'll find it for yourself. But we can't take time out to take that step back, take a deep breath, and try to clear our heads. We can't do it. 
You get it all across hate fuck radio. We can't call it talk radio anymore. You know what it really is? Hate fuck radio. And that's what it is, really. Doesn't make a damn which end of the spectrum we're talking about. It's all hate fuck radio. You you basically whore for sponsors. You're showing for you're basically spreading your legs like Parisian whores for sponsors. I don't know. I don't know where I went on that particular tangent, and I don't care, but still my point is this, and I'll end and I'll end this and let everybody say what you want to say. Anarchy has gripped this country. You had a chance to listen. Some two years ago, or really the day Barry Obama decided to announce his candidacy for the presidency. That's when this all started, really. But although, it, really, you can say it's going back about a good 50 years or so. But it's really intensified in the last two years plus, or three, uh, never know. It's just intensified. And unfortunately, there are some things that are not, there are some asset, uh, facets of free speech that are not constitutionally protected. In my view, anyway, protesting at a funeral, military or otherwise, to me, that's not that's not constitutionally protected free speech. That's just being an asshole. But we've allowed this. You all bent over like the French in 1940, right after 9/11. You bent over. You let Georgie Bush Jr. and his stooges basically corrupt the Constitution, basically use the Constitution to, and the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights. You let them use this fucking toilet paper. You surrendered your Constitution. You surrendered your constitutional and civil rights. You gave up. You bent over like the French in 1940. And now this is what's happened. That's what I'm talking about when I said it's your fault. Just as much as it's mine or anyone else's. I don't know what else I can say. I can't sit here and keep making these type of videos. That won't work. Oh, lo and behold, you watch the background and they run the Mama Grizzly doing her bed again. I don't know. Maybe we should line people up against the walls and shoot them. It's like I said before, anarchy is there. If the government now says you can go out and kill people if you don't like them. They won't do a goddamn thing to you. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Somehow I fear for the sanity of this country. But maybe this is just wishful thinking. That was another term for the, the site I visited and got the friendly warning from. I said we'd love to have just you know have a civil discord on this, at least a civil discussion, but it's all wishful thinking. Maybe that's what this video is. It's like more wishful thinking than anything. So, that's pretty much it, gang. Uh, I've said all I need to say, so. Uh, take it any way you want. Um, comments. And believe me, this is, as I say, it's a rare instance when I don't do a sports video. I don't now allow comments. I allowed it on the last one. I allowed it on this one. Say what you want to say. I've said it before. When I said it in the last video, I can fucking care less what you think. I care what I know. And I'll leave you all with that.